Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I am a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use the Microsoft RMS sharing application to protect sensitive files from unauthorized access and misuse. Unlike traditional protection methods such as firewalls and ACLs, RMS protection is persistent. It remains with the information no matter where it goes or how it is transported. Content authors can determine both who is authorized to access a certain piece of protected content and also what actions users can perform on that content. For example, a content author might dictate that a certain group can open but cannot copy, edit, or print a sensitive document. In the past, RMS protection was limited to Office and XPS files. Now, the RMS sharing application allows users to protect any file type. Text, image, PDF, and Office files support the granular permissions I just described. All other file types are protected with a wrapper-based protection. The RMS sharing application features a one-click option to share a copy of an Office file in the Office user interface. Here, Chase has opened an Excel spreadsheet he would like to share with a coworker. He clicks Share Protected and inputs his coworker's email in the user field. He can use the slider bar to grant Luke granular permissions over the document. Additionally, he can choose to apply content expiration to that document. Finally, Chase selects the option to receive a notification when Luke opens the file. This feature allows content authors to receive an email in near real time when a user attempts to access the protected content. He clicks Send. Notice the draft mail message with two protected files attached. The RMS sharing application attaches both a copy of the protected original document and a copy in PPDF format. This file opens in the RMS sharing application and enables users to view protected content on their mobile devices. Chase reviews the message and sends it to Luke. Now, Luke opens the message from Chase and opens the attachment. Notice the permissions bar stating that the document is protected. He'll click View Permissions to view the granular permissions he has over the document. Luke can view and edit the document, but is unable to copy or print content from it. He'll click File and notice that the print option is unavailable. Now let's take a look at how to apply RMS protection to PDF, text, and image files. We will see how the RMS sharing application protects all file types through wrapper-based protection. We will apply rights policy templates to the documents, granting users in our organization permission to view the documents. Users will be unable to edit, copy, or print these documents. Here, Chase has just finished working on a couple of sensitive documents that he needs to protect. He selects and right-clicks the documents, selects Protect in Place, and selects the Confidential View Only Rights Policy template. Notice that the file extensions have been changed and an icon has been added to the thumbnails, indicating RMS protection. Finally, notice that our WMV file has been converted to a P file. This wrapper protection controls authorization and content expiration, but does not support the granular permissions we have seen with Office, PDF, text, and image files. Now, Leia opens each file, and you can see that she is able to open them in the RMS sharing application. You can also see that she can view the documents, but cannot print or save these documents, and can't modify any of the text. Any other user would be prevented from opening the documents. As Leia opens the P file, notice the friendly message stating the rights she has over the file. Leia clicks OK, and the file opens in its native application. I've just demonstrated how you can easily protect all file types in place in File Explorer. Now let's take a look at how to send protected files to other users providing a secure collaboration experience. The RMS sharing application creates a protected copy of the original PDF document and attaches it to a draft mail message to the intended user. This PPDF file will also be viewable by mobile users through the RMS sharing application. Chase will select and right-click the PDF file he wants to send to his coworker. He'll select Share Protected to open the RMS app. Chase enters Leia's email address in the Users field and assigns her permissions using the slider bar. As he clicks Send, notice that a draft mail message appears with the protected file attached. He reviews the message and then clicks Send. Now Leia opens the message and finds the protected version of the PDF file. Notice that this PPDF file opens in the RMS sharing application. Throughout this video, I've shown you how you can use the RMS sharing application to protect sensitive files. 
We've also explored how the RMS sharing application enables users to send protected files to other users. Please visit youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors to view more videos on Microsoft RMS and its integration with additional applications. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com slash RMS. Thank you for watching.